Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Jimmy Treacle, also known as Horror Fan for Life. And my next movie review I have for you is called Charlie's Farm. Now this was released on March 1st, 2015. It is an Australian slasher film that has a 4.6 out of 10 on IMDb and an 81% on Google. The movie was written and directed by Chris Sun and it stars Tara Reid, Kane Hodder, Bill Mosley, Nathan Jones, Alira uh, Chukops, I hope I'm pronouncing that uh, correctly, uh, Dean Kurtwright, and Sam Coward. And uh, this movie is about four friends uh, who head to the Australian outback um, to investigate an urban legend about Charlie's Farm, of course. Uh, where legend has it uh, that an angry mob killed a sadistic family and encountered a demented giant with a big thirst for revenge. Uh, this movie uh, was a fun slasher. Uh, the budget for it was $3 million. I don't have no box office numbers uh, or sales for the movie, but if it's anything like I enjoyed it, um, I'm sure it did pretty well, but, uh, uh, yeah, you have friends, uh, Natasha, Melanie, Jason, and Mick, a.k.a. Donkey, and you'll find out why he's called Donkey later on in the movie. Actually, you'll, well, I'm not going to spoil anything. You'll understand why they call him Donkey, uh, in the movie. Uh, but in this movie, uh, Charlie sees his parents, uh, be killed by an angry mob, and he takes revenge on anyone who comes around his farm. And the locals know that that's not a place for you to be. But, of course, these kids don't heed the warnings. And they go out there. And they actually run into uh, a couple uh, that's backpacking and is coming to visit the farm as well. So the three pairs decide to split up and search the place for memorabilia, you know, anything of value. And from there... Charlie takes over. The best part about this movie, um, or the best thing in this movie, the third act is great, with the exception of uh, the final girl mi uh, minutes, which I'll talk about here in a minute. But uh, I love the opening act. We get the backstory about this family. Uh, Bill Mosley's great. Uh, Kane Hunter is really good uh, in the third act. Uh, uh, he has a nice moment in there, uh, for a little bit anyway, but, uh, uh, and Tara Reed is, is good, um, boy, she, and I hate, I don't like to speak about people's personal life or anything, but, uh, in this movie, she is, she is looking really thin, and it almost scares me, um, but I, I hope she's doing all right, I hope. She's taking care of herself. God, this was 2015, but uh, yeah, she's skinny in this movie. But she is really good. Um, I just don't think she's used to doing a slasher movie. And um, the final girl in this movie uh, was just okay. It wasn't. It was no Jenny from Friday the 13th Part Two or uh, Nancy from uh, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. Uh, the original, but uh, it was just okay. But there are a lot of things I loved about this movie. Uh, the makeup, special effects is really good. I love the look of Charlie. Uh, and as I said, the third act is the best, with the exception of the final girl minutes, which were just okay. Uh, the kills are freaking awesome in this movie. Um, and this was just a fun, fun slash. I, I had a blast with this one. Uh, like I said, there are, you know, some things wrong with it. Uh, some of the acting was subpar. Uh, the three main leads were the best uh, in it. I did like the character of Donkey, though. He was sort of the comic relief in this movie, but uh, it was really cool. And in this movie, which was really weird, uh, we did, yeah, there was some nudity, there was some boobs, but uh, we didn't have that typical sex scene. Uh, at least with one of the couples or anything. and uh, That was kind of odd for a slasher movie. But 
in the way it actually made it really even better in my opinion I don't always have to have a sex scene in slasher movies to uh, you know to make me want to watch it I mean don't get me wrong boobs are boobs but come on uh, I'm more interested in the kills you know the story and you know some background on the characters and uh, we get that I, I, I like this movie and I highly recommend you check out Charlie's Farm if you haven't already seen it. Uh, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 and a two thumbs up. So yeah, definitely check it out in the comment section below if you've seen it. Give me your thoughts and opinions. And did you like it, love it, hate it? Did you think it was overrated? Let me know. Let's have a great discussion about this movie. Otherwise, if you're new to the channel, subscribe today for more content. If you like this review, hit that like button. And share this review on your social media as you see fit to. Uh, other than that, I thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for many more movie reviews. And check you later.